Well, today we got some discard warlock synergy cards uh, revealed by creators DC Universe 9487, a uh, group uh, that works on the same uh, Twitch channel. I'll link that below. And we also got some dragons for Paladin. I'm super excited for those. Uh, revealed in an always uh, always hilarious uh, raunchy animation, which did premiere on the actual Hearthstone YouTube. Again, I will link that below. So let's dig into the cards that we have today. For Warlock, we have Walking Dead, a three mana two five undead with taunt. If you discard this minion, summon it. Now, on its own face value, it seems okay, but I, I think with some of these other discard cards, this card gets a lot better. Although even on its own, like it's not terrible and it has synergy potential. Like with Scourge Supplies, a three mana uh, spell that draws you three cards, but you choose one to discard. Not quite as as exciting as cards like Backfire that we've seen in the past. Uh, you did take damage for Backfire, whereas you have to discard a card here instead. But with all of the discard synergy, I think this is kind of cool. And, you know, drawing three cards for three seems pretty good. Uh, Mage has, you know, the Arcane Intellect where you draw two cards for three. So it's kind of the same concept, but there is that potential upside because of discard. And the next one is Soul Barrage, a shadow spell, five mana. When you play or discard this, deal six damage randomly split among all enemies. Now, with it being all enemies, that does mean it can hit face. It's not just going to hit minions. I like the sound of that. Um, five mana for that seems a little costly. So this is probably one that you want to actually discard out of your hand and not pay the mana for it. Maybe it can work. Uh, also, I kind of wonder how uh, this is going to work in some circumstances where, you know, you could use this as a shadow spell, but you probably don't want to play things like Lady Darkvein because this specifically says when you play or discard this. So I don't know. That interaction specifically seems like it could be an interesting one. I don't know if it actually would work, but it might. So I don't know. Let me know if you know that how that interaction does work down below. Otherwise, definitely we will test it once the expansion comes out. But overall, uh, I like the concept of this if you can discard it, but I'm not a fan of paying the five to have six damage randomly split up. Then we have Savage Mirjar. It is a 5 mana 7-7 seven, seven undead with Rush and a battle cry discard two cards. Okay, again, not quite as powerful as like Doom Guard that we had, you know, in, in years past. Uh, it's only got Rush, not Charge, but it is a good body. And if you are playing discard stuff, some of those cards like we saw previously really do benefit from being discarded. So you know, I think this is actually not bad of a minion if you're playing discard stuff. I don't know because it's only rush instead of charge if you would want to play this in just like any warlock deck. But I think specifically for discard purposes, this card gets a lot better. And then we have Amorphous Slime it is a five mana five three with a battle cry discard a random undead and Death Rattles summon a copy of it. Well, the two other minions that we saw were both undead minions, so maybe discarding your 7-7 uh, seven, seven Rusher and then bringing a copy of that back without having to lose the discard could be pretty good, or discarding your 2-5 Taunt minion that's then just going to play once it's discarded, and then also getting another copy of that seems pretty fantastic. Um, any again, any minions that have like synergies like that or have some rush effect or even like a death rattle, bringing back something that has a death rattle effect to get that effect again, all seem really cool. I don't know if I like this as much as some of the other kind of slime and things like we've had. I was a huge fan of cube. Uh, it's not quite that level. But again, if you're working on a discard type synergy in the deck, I think this seems pretty 
pretty good uh, because it is more specific to what you are discarding and not just a random card. Jumping into Paladin, we have dragons. I'm so excited for Dragon Paladin. And maybe some sort of like mid rangey Paladin can come back. Those were some of my absolute favorite Paladin decks in the past. Uh, Paladin's one of my favorite classes. So to see this is exciting. We have uh, Anna Kronos, a seven mana, eight, eight dragon. Battle Cry, send all other minions two turns into the future. So this one is kind of interesting. We haven't really seen an effect like this, uh, but sending them two turns into the future uh, means that basically they are off the board. None of their effects like death rattles, like none of that happens. And then they'll basically reappear two turns later. They're re-brought back onto the board in the order that they were initially summoned. The fact, though, that it says all other minions does mean that it would impact your board as well, uh, for better or worse, if you can actually plan it and then have some big thing that's that's going to be able to rush or, or have some other effect. Great. Um, but I feel like this probably wants to come down on a board where you have either an insignificant minion that you don't really care about you know, small body like a one one or something or where you are really far behind on board and uh, you want to kind of clear up your opponent's board at the same time as putting down a minion and in those cases this seems really cool next up we have time warden a four mana three five dragon that says battle cry until the end of your next turn dragons you summon gain taunt and divine shield so a lot of value potential uh, i think the the cool thing about this is in, it's until the end of your next turn so if you play this you know a little bit later in the game you could play this plus another dragon on that turn and get the effect and then on your next turn you would still be getting that effect it's also a battle cry, so there's not really anything that your opponent can do to prevent that. So you get to do your cool thing. Uh, and, you know, Taunt and Divine Shield aren't necessarily like, you know, the, the end all be all of the board state. So I think it's a very powerful effect that doesn't just mean, oh, you get to do this super powerful broken thing that is completely unstoppable. Uh, there are still going to be answers for dragons, especially if they're big dragons. There, there's a lot of spells and other things that, you know, kill certain minions or, or board removals. Um, but in a meta that is maybe a little bit more board based or reliant on opponents hitting with weapon attacks, things like that, uh, the taunt and divine shield is especially great. So I'm pretty excited for this. I think it is a really cool card. Then we have Flight of the Bronze. It is a one mana spell. It says discover a dragon. If you have mana thirst of seven, so if you have seven mana or more when you play it, uh, then you get to summon a five five drake with taunt. So you get to discover a dragon and summon a five five with taunt. Seems pretty good. It also has that uh, as a drake, it would have the dragon tag. So you would get any like you know like the effect we just saw of giving it uh it would already get taunt but it would get taunt and divine shield uh so that seems pretty neat as well i think the flight of the bronze paired with time warden on like turn seven or eight uh would be a really cool effect to be able to do uh to to be able to kind of pull off that mana thirst combo but even just the the ability to discover a dragon for only one mana on its own without the mana thirst effect i think is fantastic as long as the dragon pool is good but we are seeing some dragons and as always with discover effects it is going to be class and neutral so you're only going to discover a paladin or uh, a neutral dragon as long as you're playing it in paladin of course you know <laughs> if another class generates this or something that's a whole different story but uh, you know discovering a paladin or neutral dragon sounds pretty sweet and then our last one is daring drake it is a four mana four four dragon with rush and battle cry if you're holding a dragon gain plus one plus one 
Yes, I love this. I love this. I love this so much. This is the kind of like dragon type cards and mid range, you know, just tempo style of play that we want. As a 4 4 rush, pretty decent stats. If you're running stuff, it's likely you, you have a dragon in hand, I would imagine. So a four mana, five, five with rush. Fantastic. I love this card so much. And getting to discover this as well off of the card we just saw, that Flight of the Bronze. Pretty cool potential there. I like this one a lot. This is exactly the kind of card that I want to be playing. So this one particularly very, very excited for is a discard warlock or a dragon paladin, something that you think you're going to be playing. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And I cannot wait to try these out. Definitely going to be theory crafting some stuff. And of course, I'll do videos on those theory crafts as well. Uh, super excited for that. I've done that the last uh, couple expansions. But you know what, if you are also interested in kind of that theory craft idea, and just the idea of thinking about uh, cards in different ways, I would love if you could check out this video here that I did where I actually set up a whole rune system and created custom cards for the entire class pool of all all 10 classes that don't actually have runes. So if you want to check that out, you can click right there. Thank you so much for checking this out and I'll see you in the next one.